Hello. Well, it's not been a good couple of days for me. Yesterday, my horse became very ill and I had to take him to the vet with the help of my very nice stable owner. And uh, I spent the afternoon going to the vet, uh, having him deal with the horse and coming back from the vet. He's still not right. That was a worry. I, I went out to the stables again this morning. He's still not right. I'm still hanging fire on that. And then I got back here in the afternoon and discovered that the dog had weed all over the living room carpet. So we had to take the living room carpet out to the back garden and start steaming it. I don't think I got all the stuff out. Anyway, that was that. Not feeling too good, I come up here and uh, I start doing some repairs and my sewing machine packs in. It's just one of those days. And so I thought, well, I should be making a video anyway. And I was doing a little bit of research. I was going to talk about Meghan Markle, actually. And then I came across this. Africa warming more faster than other world regions. Well, of course, that's a problem. Uh, however, you know, you don't just accept that. So I did a little bit of research and I came across this. It's not Africa at all. It's Europe that's warming faster than the rest of the world. And scientists are puzzled and they very well might be because they've just been told that Africa is. And now they're just being told that the Arctic is. The Arctic is warming faster than other parts of the world. How many parts of the world can warm faster than any other part? So I did a little bit more scratching about and I came up with China, which is heating up twice as fast as the rest of the world. Goodness me. What, what is this? An, an Olympics of warming up? And then I found this. The Middle East. Unique emergency because temperatures in the Middle East are rising 1.5 to 2 times faster than the rest of the world. That sounds a lot more scientific, doesn't it, than just saying 2 times. Between 1.5 and 2. It, it sort of inserts an element of, um, of uncertainty, you know, of scientific questioning. Anyway, I carried on looking. Ah, oh, it's not uh, the other places at all. It's Australia, which is heating up faster than the rest of the world with this wonderful subheader, like a shrimp on the barbie. Great image, uh, Lydia Ramsey. OK, so I thought, well, does Australia run off with the prize? After all, it's running off with the barbecue. But no, it's the South Pole, which is warming three times faster than the Earth. That's terrible, isn't it? It's warming three times faster than Europe, which is warming tw two times faster. And what was it? China, uh, 1.5 and 2. Well, never mind. I I'm getting confused now. And so uh, South Pole. Well, who else? Ah, uh, Canada is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world. Poor old Canada. All right. But I've got to give the other countries a chance. The United States parts of which are heating faster than the globe as a whole. That's the Guardian for you. It won't say the rest of the world, the globe as a whole, just in case you think the world is flat. All right, so then we have this one, Little Israel, warming up almost twice as fast as the rest of the world. Data shows, right, so, you know, data shows, so that's all right. Right, but then we've got this place, Long Year Bien, uh, the fastest warming city on Earth. That's in the Arctic Circle, you see, in Norway, I think. Yeah, the island in the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard. Ah, right, so well, what else do we have here? Now, we've got this, Japan, swelters, and it's worth worst heat wave ever ever recorded and now we have the answer because the bbc has given us the answer it says here definitively heat waves have become more frequent more intense and last longer because of human induced climate change so that's the answer nothing to do with sunspots uh the uh the way the earth is spinning, uh, various other sorts of warming effects. No, no, no. It's human-induced climate change 
Absolutely, because the BBC told you. So, I want you to know, what's the point of me looking after my horse and not beating my dog to death for weeing on the carpet? Because the world's going to end twice as fast as anything else in the world. So, there you are. And I am Granny Opterix. I'm to be found on YouTube, Rumble, Bitshoot and Minds. I am also on Twitter, Gab and Parlour, where I am known as at Granny Opterix. I do urge you to subscribe to one of those, uh, Twitter, Gab or Parlour, at Granny Opterix, because that way you'll always know when I've uploaded a video, I always tell you. If you have subscribed to me, especially on YouTube, check that subscription because it sort of drops off the edge of the desk. Um, and uh, yeah, please like this video, please share it, please subscribe if you haven't already, and contribute to the channel if you can. I think that vet bill is going to be quite a shock. Okay, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opterix design or Granbo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.